You've probably measured profile of surface and line profile until now hundred if not thousands of times and you did encounter along the way modifiers like single zone and common zone. And these modifiers are most of the time clear and you know how to evaluate them. But what happens when you encounter on a line profile or a profile of surface an unequal distribution zone? And more precisely, how do you evaluate it in Calypso? Well, this is what we are going to talk in today's video. You may have encountered this representation until now, but has anyone explained it to you? So it's pretty simple. We have here a profile of surface of 2.5 millimeters with an unequal disposed zone of minus 0.5 millimeters. This means that we have an offset zone of 0.5 millimeters inside the material. At number two, we have the actual offset provided by the unequal disposed zone. At number three, we have the tolerance zone with the center inside the material minus 0.5 millimeters according to the unequal zone. This means that we can go inside the material 1.75 millimeters, but we can only go outside the material with 0.75 millimeters. And finally, at number four, we have the upper and the lower limit of the contour. Designers do this often when they want to make sure that the material doesn't exceed a specific value of the surface, but they have no problem if the material is placed inside more. This is the case when we have a minus next to the unequal disposed value. But if we have no symbol or a plus symbol, then the tolerance goes the other way. We have more permission to the outside of the material than the inside of the material. Here I've made a drawing that has a specification of unequal disposed zone inside the material and another one outside the material. And we are going to evaluate this in Calypso. Just remember that this example is available if you have unequal disposed zone tolerance in drawings that are ISO standard related and in ones that are in ASME standard related. So it applies to both of the cases. Okay guys, so we are here in Calypso and we've extracted all the datums necessary to make the alignment. So According to the drawing, as we can see here, this is datum A constructed from these two surfaces from here. Datum B is this surface from here and datum C is this one from here. So this is exactly what we've done in Calypso. We've taken these two planes from here, so A1 and A2, and we've constructed datum A in the center datum b is this one from here and datum c is this one from here then we've sectioned the part in the center exactly at zero according to the origin and uh, we've made a 3d curve luckily we do have a cad model so this is pretty doable okay and we've done another 3d curve and we can evaluate now the profile of line and we do have here the evaluation of the profile of line and the evaluation is done according to the drawing the drawing for the first one as we can see here it's 1.5 millimeters with an unequal zone of minus 0.3 so how do you calculate this? Well, it's pretty simple. You put here on the tolerance, on the total tolerance, 1.5 millimeters. And on the unequal zone, you leave it as it is, like here. So don't play with this button. And then you calculate it like this. You take this value, you divide it by 2 because you know that this is the total tolerance zone so it's 0 
inside the material and 0 0.75 outside the material. So you divide it by 2 and then you subtract minus 0 0.3 from that and you will get exactly 0 0.45. This is the tolerance that you will put on tolerance one side. So this is the unequal zone. Then for the other one, it's exactly the same, but we do have a plus. So it's 0 0.5, the total tolerance. And again, you don't mess with this button. You leave it as it is. And then you set here 0 0.25 plus 0.1 exactly as the drawing says okay and we have 0.35 in total now our drawing doesn't specify that that this uh, two profile of lines has to be evaluated to, to a coordinate system so make sure if you have something like this on your drawing that you will set uh, the no datum reference frame right here so don't choose the base don't choose anything else Ch choose no dat datum reference frame and okay and let's see what happens if we choose to display the result and i've already played a little with this i wanted to to see the tolerance frames because these are important because according to the drawing on this one we have to have a lot more tolerance inside the material and i want to see this and we can already see it right so the minus tolerance is bigger than the plus tolerance right here we can see this okay this is the nominal contour this is the points that we've taken on the nominal contour and this is the minus tolerance and this is the plus tolerance and we can see that we have exactly what we were looking for okay and now let's see the one from here let's go a little bit closer and on this one we want it to be on plus material plus tolerance more and this is exactly what we get okay so as we can see here this is plus material more and minus material less okay so this is what we were looking for good so we do have now an example with minus unequal zone so inside the material and plus unequal zone outside the material this is how you evaluate in calypso this kind of geometrical tolerance with unequal zone since this is my last video for 2022, I want to wish you all the best. May we see each other safe in the new year that is about to come. I say thank you to all the lessons that 2022 teached me. It was a good year for me on a personal level and for my channel as well. Because as we speak, you are almost 800 subscribers. And I thank you for having trusted me with your source of inspiration and learning in our 3D measurements world. So with this, I say welcome to 2023. May it be a very good year for us and may our wishes and expectations be met in this new year. And don't forget, until next time, learn as much as you can. Or just enjoy the new year party and then you can start learning in the new year.